Welcome to Classic Car Co. This is a little bit of a different video. Uh, uh, it's actually this pool table that I was given free. I need to take it apart and strip it for the winter. Um, and obviously then I'll get new bays for it and do all the cushions and the, and the slate. Um, I've done a little bit of research on YouTube, which is one of the thing, things it's great for is YouTube. And it appears that it's a single slate. Um, normally they can come in three pieces. Uh, two end pieces and a centre, or one complete piece, and this seems to be a single uh, slate uh, piece on it. Uh, and apparently, the way you can do that is by putting your fingers right into the corner of the cushions, and you can feel where the screws are to screw the three plates down, and they don't appear to be there. So I think it is a single piece. What I've done is, is I could see that the bolts that were actually quite loose. So I got uh, 12 um, long uh, set screws, which a set screw basically is the thread all the way down, there's no shaft on it, and I've taken them out, and now I can actually get the cushion off the top, and as you can see I can lift it because the, 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 uh, the pockets are actually split, split the plastic on the pocket itself, and the lower piece where the ball runs into is separate, so I can actually take this piece off. So what I'll do now is I'll take this piece off and then we'll have a look at the, the intersection of it. So I need to basically pull this thing apart um, to be able to do the bays and, and uh, some other bits and pieces. For instance, I have no keys for the locks. I would like to get the mechanism working as, as a, a bit of, you know, when guys come over and play, I have a stack of coins and we just pop them in and take them back out again. It'll just make it a bit more authentic and a bit more bar-like. So I'll see if I can struggle with this top on my own and, uh, and see, what, see what's underneath it all. So, with the aid of, uh, of some drills, I've managed to drill out these locks on the front piece. There was two locks either side, one was missing, one was I drilled out. And I've also opened the door for the latch mechanism. So you can see here there's this aluminium tray and uh, I've just tried it out. So, Imagine the balls are coming down, going into that, and then I can, as the coin goes through, there's a battery here and a motor, and I tilt it over. Quite noisy, and you can see one has gone to the end, but that three ball has stayed where it is. There's obviously something wrong with the mechanism, it needs adjusting uh, because it's not coming out. If I put it there, maybe. I'll try I'll try if I put it further in. I'll let go. Okay, so I also need to drop that. Uh, I need to fix this mechanism. But I'll uh, I'll show you the I'll bring the camera in and I'll show you how, how it looks. So you can see there's the mechanism there. I'll just, oh, I'll just do it again. So you can see this is the, the money slot here. And what's happening is the coin's not coming in and pressing this down. Uh, and when I opened the coin box here, there was six euro in it. So double win. Free pool table and six euro. So if I put a coin in, you can see what's happening is it's not. In fact, I'll bring this round so you can see it. So there's the mechanism there. So if I put the coin in. Sorry if the camera works not really good. You see it's not going all the way down. It's not... Uh... So if I press this return, the coin's coming out. And it obviously should go through slot and then go into the box. Um, so... And you can see there how the, how the mechanism works. Hang on. You see there are the mechanism, I'll just do it again. Tilts it, throws all the boards in. Puts it on the table level. Quite noisy though. And you can see in there there's a there's a counter. Hopefully you can see yeah. You can see there's a counter there. We've got 330,383. That's a lot of plays. Okay, so it's not going through this coin slot at the moment, but uh, if I put it through on the side, it does actually 
the coin actually does work. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I mean. If I if it dropped down like this, you can see it operating the whole noises. It's got little micro switches on it. And there's another one here on the back. So I think that'll be easy enough to adjust. Um, I've given the, the base a bit of a hoover off with this uh, with this Dyson. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, in fairly, it's in pretty poor shape. And there's quite a few tears in it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the base off because I'm not sure. It seems to be loose on this side, but not on that side. And I don't want to pull on it and snap the slate. That would really screw things up and just make it scrap. Um, but I can get the base for this. In fact, I can even get orange. So what I might do, if it's possible, you can get orange uh, bays and well, it's called burnt, burnt red or burnt orange. Um, and you can even get orange uh, Q uh, chalk. So that obviously as you hit it, you don't get blue marks or whatever. I don't know if that's still available, but if not, I could go for a, a kind of light blue and do the outside orange. Uh, you know, make it kind of same uh, deal as I've got with the uh, Golf Mini. Might not be able to use the same colours, but you never know. Anyway, there's a, a quite a bad rip here, here in it, um, and it really is badly stained. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open it up and uh, see if it is one piece as I think it is. So I'll just, you could use, I suppose you could say you could use the other side, but if there's a cut of it, there's not much point. I'm not surprised how thick that is. It looks like it's one piece. Uh, I'll slice it all the way down. I just want to see if it's one piece. This is vandalism. It certainly looks like it's one piece. in there and I guess it's just stuck is it yeah it's just been glued yeah so there's a one there's a one piece so that's torn it as they say um, yeah so I'll get it off but I'm a bit concerned because on this side there's no gap but there is some movement there and I can lift it I can lift it pretty much this side but maybe it's just the sheer weight of it uh, but I'm worried that it's glued down and we can't get it up. Um, what I'll do now is I've got a roller there, but I need somebody to give me a hand with it. But it's loose now. It's actually, the whole thing's moving, so it's not stuck to anything. I think it was just sheer weight was holding it. As you can see, the table's out. <coughs> we just set that against it with, uh, there was, God, there must have been about 25 uh, Q chalks in there. So we've cleaned it out, but we won't do anything with it now until the springtime when we put new felt on it, put it all back together. So there's all the pieces there. Um, the black's awful, so we will do something about that. I'm thinking about doing it in uh, golf colours, and I believe you can get orange beige, uh, beige, I should say. Um, and if we do that, then I'll do it in baby blue with a golf. So it's it's kind of like a theme, you know, kind of with the golf stickers on it and orange and blue. Uh, there's the slate itself. It's a one piece, as you can see, extremely heavy, and the mirror's attached it to the wall up there, so it can't fall. It's a nice big piece of, but you can see it's extremely thick, extremely heavy too. Um, so, but we won't do anything with that until we're ready to put the, we'll put the table up and then offer this back up. I bought some uh, uh, PVC tubes uh, to roll it on and that's how, we, that's how we got it off. So that'll be it. It'll be stored away now until the spring and, uh, and then we'll do another video showing us putting it back together.